Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream, and today we're gonna be adding sweet Valentine's Day touches to our home. So I don't go all out, I just add little tiny pops of red and little tiny touches of love into our home for this season. So without further ado, let's get started. We're actually gonna start upstairs. Um, I'm gonna add some sweet touches to my daughter's room and then to her playroom and then we'll work our way back downstairs. So hi guys, we are in my daughter's room. Um, her room has like pinks. It also has a little bit of blue, just kind of pastel-y um, rainbow colors, but we're gonna add just a few little sweet touches to her room. So first up is we're gonna add this wreath to her bed. I will have a link down below. I did a whole video telling you guys where I got all of my holiday decor. Here's a preview, mostly Hobby Lobby and Target and Home Goods. You know, you guys know um, all of the spots. But we're gonna hang this sweet wreath on her bed. It's a house bed. Um, I'll show you guys that in just a second. But we're gonna hang this wreath on there, and I think it goes really good with all the tones and stuff in her room. Also, a few years back, I picked up this tic-tac-toe set from Target, the Target dollar spot. So we're gonna add this little sweet piece as well. And then she has this little pillow. She has hooks over here. You guys see them? There's actually three in a row. But we're just gonna add this little love note pillow. And then we also have this um, made with love little box that we got from Target and we're gonna add this as well. And I think the colors and everything go with her room. She doesn't have red, but red will be her little pop of Valentine's Day color. But that is it. And then we'll also make sure we change out her little books and her little reading nook to all of the Valentine's Day books. But let's get started. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. So just little sweet touches. I'll give you guys an overview afterwards, but let me show you the books that we're going to add to her little reading nook. So I'm going to add this Fancy Nancy box set. Really good, really cute. Some favorites. I love you more. Tea, tiny T-Rex. And Llama Llama, I love you. All you need is love. Most of our books we get from either Amazon or we've got them from the Scholastic Book Fair at her school or we have picked up um, a few from like Target and this one is The Very Fairy Princess, Valentine's Day of Hearts, Fancy Nancy Heart to Heart. This is one of her favorites, The Littlest Valentine's. It's a really sweet story. Full, full of love. The night before Valentine's Day. Oops. Pinkalicious. And um, Pink of Hearts. Pauletta, the pinkest pup in the world. This classic, I Love You More Forever. I Love You Forever, another one. How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You, and Side by Side, Life is Better Together. And this big one is from Target. So we're gonna add these to her little reading neck, and then I'll show you guys an overview of her room. Okay guys, let's check out my sweet girl's room. 
on her dresser here, she has the made with love sign, her bed, she has a little heart, just really sweet. Reading Nook, I just filled it with all of those books that I just showed you guys. And then over here on her little table, we have the little tic-tac-toe game so we can play that. And then over here we have the Love You More little pillow, Love Note little pillow. So very sweet, very cute, super simple, and just little tiny Valentine's Day touches. Okay guys, we're in the playroom. Um, I just have a few like little sweet things to add over here. This is for like her play kitchen. She has this really fuzzy pillow and this love sign. I already hung up the little um, garland that is from Hobby Lobby. It's really cute, but we're gonna add these other little pieces. I was working on a little bit of a project here. I usually hang garland um, on this area, but when you hang it on this, it just becomes problematic because inside of here is like all of her art supplies and all of that stuff. So I thought I could just put hearts on the doors and I have this little set from Hobby Lobby. I just put two hearts together and we'll see if that looks cute. I did this side, I thought it looked pretty cute. So we'll add it to the other side and then finish decorating this area. Just using a little clear stick. Right now I'm standing in a corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh. Everybody singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room so over in the little kitchen, I just added this pink and red stripe towel, dish towel. Um, that is actually from Target. And then on the sofa here, we just added in a little heart fuzzy pillow. This we hung up those like little decals. She painted that love picture last year. That's in her dollhouse um, and then we have that love sign from Walmart and a little bowl of like conversational hearts they're really cute and that is from um, the hearts are from Hobby Lobby we have bear over here with um, her little pink and white heart ribbon and hearts on her feet and then we have this garland up here, just looking really sweet. And then our we got we caught our Valentine's Day gnome in our little um, area, and that was actually a gift from our friend. It was like a little deep DIY. But that is it, guys. So nothing crazy, but just a few sweet little V-Day touches for her little playroom area. Okay guys, we are in our entryway downstairs and we're just gonna add a few little sweet touches. I pulled this like metal heart. I love it because it looks antique, but it's not. I got it from Walmart. Um, this one is actually from the antique store. It says, love you more. And then I'm gonna style the entryway table with this little tic-tac-toe board. Um, so just little tiny pieces, nothing crazy, but it'll just bring in that little little extra something. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love 
it's too bad. Okay, here is what I have pulled for our kitchen and our dining room. My bin is also over there. I have a few things in there for the front porch. Um, but besides that, I decluttered a lot. So stuff that I wasn't using, I got rid of. But this is just the stuff that I pulled. So a few solo hearts, our um, little heart, um, ceramic cooker, the banner for the fireplace. I hadn't used this for a few years, but I think I'm gonna use it this year. And then here's another little sign. So let's add these little sprinkles into our kitchen. Oh, and these are DIY hearts that I made. I think I'm gonna put them going up the mantle. I don't know, I think Valentine's Day decor should be fun and whimsical, so we shall see. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go but she will never know, na na Never know, na na she Island. I just added this sweet little galvanized heart. Um, I always usually, I'm so bad with taking the receipts off, but I think that is from Hobby Lobby years ago, but just kept it really simple with my soap still up there and then just a little bit of greenery. Um, in our coffee station, kept it really simple. I just added this brew, Love Brews Here sign from Hobby Lobby. And then I did pull down my um, Valentine's Day mugs and put them down on the shelf here. Those are from Home Goods. Over here, I just added a sweet little simple heart on that cutting board. And then this little wooden spoon with the heart, that is from Hobby Lobby. We have this XO, X heart, X heart sign. That is from Hobby Lobby. And then our little heart Dutch oven. And then back here, this is ready. I love this cake plate. We've used it for years. Um, it's from Hearth and Hand. Um, but I just added a sweet little um, heart uh, tea towel back there. So very cute, very sweet. But that is my kitchen, guys. So very simple, just little tiny touches, but I love it. Okay, last stop, guys, is our mantle. I just put a little Valentine's Day ambiance on the screen, so nothing crazy. Um, but we're just going to add little touches. I'm not really going to do anything on the sofa, um, the area that's behind you guys, but we'll just add a, a little something to this mantle area. 
But let's get started. Love. we have the hearts those i just cut out of cardstock but if you have a cricket it would be even easier you could do it like that our amazon burlap love banner um all the greenery is from hobby lobby they always have it um i always wait until it goes on sale um and then i just held it by our mantle piece this piece of wood is from like the 1800s <laughs> um and it has like cracks and crevices and all that stuff which i love in it and i just like stick the garland in its grooves but there we go and i think it looks so cute and sweet and whimsical and just like valentine's day should look we're over here at the hutch and i wanted to show you guys this really quick i just added a little heart to that book stack with a family picture this little bowl with some filler, it has, um, it's a Hobby Lobby bowl with Hobby Lobby filler. Um, this little galvanized heart actually goes on the front door, but it is quite cold, so I'm gonna wait till it cools up. We have a cold front for like a couple days and then it's gonna cool down and then I'm gonna add um, that to our front door wreath. And then down here we just have this red trike that is vintage, but here is how the hutch came out. Just little touches, but it's nice and sweet. For the dining table, we kept it pretty simple. I just have some um, green picks in my um, vase. The vase and the picks, they are all from Hobby Lobby. And then some candlesticks also from Hobby Lobby. The runner is from Hobby Lobby as well. This um, charger is from Hobby Lobby. I love them, they're like a faux leather. I have some napkins from Hearth and Hand and then just a sweet little heart on there. So really cute, really simple um, table. Okay, that is it guys. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and motivation if you were in need of some Valentine's Day decor ideas. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another love video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.